Peace, I'm back today to share with you my monthly obsessions and this is for the month of March. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is my second time trying to film this video. First time it was a fail, it took me an hour and a half, I don't know what was wrong with me. I'm really gonna try to get through this video, fingers crossed that everything goes well. So anyway, let's go ahead and just jump right into my March obsessions. So I'm first gonna begin with some skincare products and the first one I wanted to talk about is this one by the brand Burt's Bees. This is the Pink Grapefruit Facial Cleansing Towel towelettes for normal to oily skin. Now a lot of the times facial towelettes tend to irritate my eyes. They either just sting around that whole eye area or I'm allergic to them but this one I've been absolutely loving it. It smells like pink grapefruit. It smells really really good. The only problem I find with this is that it doesn't remove all of my waterproof makeup. I have to go back with like some sort of makeup remover. Other than that, absolutely love this. Thank you to Erica from Brains to Beauty for recommending this product. Another one which I have been loving, I've been testing it out the whole entire month, I've been using it religiously twice a day, is this one from the brand Skin Food, and this is the Fresh Apple Sparkling Pore Toner. Now as many of you guys know if you have been following me here on YouTube, I have had such a journey looking for the perfect, or not perfect toner, for the correct toner for my skin type because a lot of toners, I am allergic to it. I always have the same reaction. I end up getting all of these bumps on my forehead and also down my nose. But with this one, I have not had that problem. This one, it has such a nice refreshing, I want to say like a tingling sensation once you kind of uh, apply it on your face. This one, I noticed that it has helped reduce the amount of sebum, the amount of oil production that my skin produces. And I just absolutely love this. I also feel that it really has helped also with the texture of my skin it to me at least it seems like my skin feels a lot smoother than how it used to feel I guess because it's really cleansing out all of my pores and I don't know I just absolutely love this I will definitely be repurchasing another one of these once I run out moving on to face products I wanted to first talk about this face primer by the brand hourglass and this is the mineral veil SPF 15 face primer this one I got it from a gift set with the ambient lighting palette and I only started using this this month and I must say I love this primer. This thing, it gives you such a nice flawless um, canvas to work with. It does have like a white texture, like a white consistency, but it blends out flawlessly. It feels so nice on the skin. And um, I feel like it also helps minimize the appearance of my pores and also helps control with um, the whole shininess because I am quite oily. The only problem I find with this is that it is quite pricey. This one, it's the 0.16 ounce. And I know the 0.33 ounce is about, I think it's like $18. And the largest one, which is two ounces, is 72. So it is quite pricey. I am using this primer today, so I absolutely love it. This concealer by the brand NYX, and this is the NYX HD Photogenic Concealer. Concealer. This one is in the shade, what shade are you? CW03. This one is a lighter color for me and let me show you guys exactly how light this is. There's a swatch of the concealer. I love to use this underneath my eyes to help brighten and conceal any darkness and I just set it with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I think it works hand in hand. Now, my next two products which I've been really really loving are by the brand Tarte. It came in this little gift box, this gold gift box and inside it included this gold eyelash curler and also this Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Now the main reason why I got this was for the eyelash curler. Now I've always had an e.l.f. eyelash curler which worked fine for me for years but I would always notice a lot of my lashes, especially the ends of my lashes down here, they just would not curl or they would curl but they would curl like in a really weird way. They would kind of be sticking out or if I tried to curl it a little bit closer, I would end up actually pinching the lids of my eyes. And I must say I really, really like this lash curler because I feel like it really grips all of my lashes and curls all of them without it being painful and I just really like it especially I mean it's gold I mean it's a gold lash curler. and then it also came with this lights camera lashes mascara now the thing about this mascara is that I did not like this when I first um, I think I got like a hundred hundred points perk from Sephora and I got this mascara and I did not like it maybe the formula of the mascara that I got before was old because this mascara before on me it would like 
flake. I would apply it to my lashes and then after a few hours I would see like little flakes down here. So I just really really did not like it. But now that I'm thinking about it, I love this mascara because I feel like it coats my lashes, it lengthens them, it gives them volume, it doesn't make them look spidery, and it doesn't flake. So I'm guessing the one I had before was just like an old formula. And I've also been loving a specific color tattoo and I did a whole review on these limited edition ones, but the one I've been grabbing for the most is this one which is called Caramel Cool, which is this beautiful coppery color. There's a swatch of Caramel Cool. Then as for an eyeshadow palette, there's only one which I can say I have been grabbing for so much the past week and a half. That's why I wanted to include it. This is a recent purchase, but I just absolutely love this palette. And it's from the Divergent Collectors Kit. This is the Erudite Eye Palette, and this is actually limited edition, but I love the colors in here. This palette has a lot of neutrals in it. It has um, some mattes and also some shimmers, and it also has this really beautiful silver metallic-y color down here which looks really beautiful when you wet your brush. These are the shadows which I'm wearing today on my eyes. I love the pigmentation and also the way how these shadows blend and I am a fan of the movie so I had to get include this in my monthly obsession. Now my last eye obsession of the month would have to go to these Esquito Mink Lashes and the ones I'm wearing today are the Lash Lorette. Now whenever I went out this month, I was always wearing these uh, Lash Lorette Mink Lashes. I mean they are so comfortable to wear. It's like sometimes I even forget that I'm wearing false lashes and they're very lightweight and they just feel so luxurious and they look really glamorous. They give your eyes like that extra pop. Now to some bronzers and blushes. Now the one I have been grabbing for a lot this month because I wanted to give myself more of like a sun-kissed glow. It's um, this bronzer by the brand Sephora and in the shade Aruba. And here's a swatch of the bronzer. I am wearing this bronzer today and I feel like it doesn't make me look muddy, it just gives me a nice sun-kissed glow. And then another one which I've been loving is also from the Divergent Collectors Kit and this is the Divergent Cheek Palette. Now inside it contains a bronzer, a highlighter, and two blushes. So you first get this one which is kind of like a salmon corally color a mauve pink. You also get this beautiful highlighter and also a bronzer. I really like the pigmentation of these and also the bronzer. I've been using this one for my contour so I've been loving this and I love how it's just like in one little sleek palette. So. Then last but not least for my blushes, it would have to go to this Too Faced Perfect Flush Blush and this one is in the shade Something About Berry. And this blush definitely deserved a close-up because it has such beautiful packaging and it also looks beautiful on the skin. And here's a swatch of Something About Berry. So when I want a pop of color on the cheeks, I tend to go for this blush because it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. Sorry, I'm kind of losing my voice right now, but it has a little bit of a shimmer to it. I think it looks so beautiful on the skin. And I tend to only use a lot of like neutral lip glosses or lipsticks when I'm at work. So this is a nice little pop of color to add to my makeup. Here's some lip products. Now I only have two lip products which I have been rotating back and forth. And it is this Whitening Lightening, the Color Your Smile Lighted Lip Gloss. And this one is in the shade Nude. This seriously is such a beautiful nude lip gloss. It's not sticky. It's like the perfect nudie pink and I think it goes well with any skin tone. Plus it has this light when you're applying your lip gloss. For my last lip product, it would have to be one of the lip glosses from the Divergent Collectors Kit. I know I mentioned a lot about it because I've just been really loving a lot of the stuff from that kit. And this one is in the shade Natural Virtue which is such a beautiful nudie... I want to say it's like a nudie pink color. Now the only thing about these lip glosses is that they are not as pigmented as I would expect it to be but they do have like a little bit of a minty flavor to them and I think they still look very beautiful on the lips. Now and moving on to hair care products, I only have one which I have been consistently using the whole entire month and it is the Agave Oil Treatment. I absolutely love this stuff. I feel like it has really helped tame my hair because if I just let my hair air dry it really gets very very frizzy and I'll have a ton of ton of flyaways but I feel like with this thing it really tames everything it makes my hair very shiny and I love the way how this smells. And then as so. for my very last beauty product which is a smell good product it would have to be my favorite fragrance of the month and that would have to go to the Juicy Couture Malibu perfume. I have been loving this so much. I've been using it every single day. I love the way how it smells. It's not like your typical Juicy Couture scent. It's a little bit different. It has a really nice like fruity and fresh scent to it. 
yeah, fruity and fresh scent to it. It's not really a sweet smelling fragrance. It's really different, I think, in my opinion, um, from their other scents, and I absolutely have been loving it. And then my last obsession of the month is actually an item which I've had for the past couple months, and I don't know why I never included it in any of my monthly obsessions. It is actually the camera which I am filming on. It's the Canon Rebel T5i DLSR camera. It's my first ever DLSR camera. I am absolutely in love with the camera quality. I love it so much and I'm still trying to get used to actually taking pictures with it because I'm still trying to figure out how to get a really nice aperture in the background with a really sharp image. I'm still working on that. I haven't really figured that out. But as for the filming quality, I love it so much. I would highly recommend this one. When I first started YouTube, I was really looking for a camera that had um, autofocus and that's why I opted for the video camera because it had um, autofocus but with this one the autofocus on this one it's not as fast I would say as a video camera but it is still really good and I like it because it's quiet so it focuses um, really quietly. So those are all of my obsessions for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really do apologize for my voice because it sounds like crap right now. So if you guys would like, please don't forget to leave me a comment and tell me what items you have been obsessed with for the month of March. And also, please don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My username is twilightchick143. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, truly, truly appreciate all of the support. You guys have been so supportive supportive and I am so thankful and grateful to all of you guys. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.